Well, of course, thousands of people flock to Milwaukee's lakefront every summer to enjoy the beaches, the boating, and of course, the beautiful scenery. And this week, I got to go beyond the beaches to check out some of the unique places along one of our hometown's greatest natural resources, the lakefront. Milwaukee's lakefront is unusual for a big city, and that's thanks in part to foresight from early leaders and the constitutional public trust doctrine, which protects this miles of beautiful lakeshore for public use. So whether you want to party at the beach, go to a museum, or take in some history, the lakefront is for everyone. My name is Dave O'Brien. I'm the uh, president of the board of the North Point Lighthouse. It started back in the 1880s. It's been here for quite a long time. This lighthouse is very unique. There are very few lighthouses of this type that are in a residential area. The one that we're in now is the final result of a renovation that took place in 2003 to 2007. You can take a guided tour of the uh, first floor and those that are interested can go into the uh, tower and to uh, have that at your fingertips is pretty nice. My name is Jamie Harvey Wilms, the executive director of the Charles Ellis and the Villa Terrace Art Museums. Uh, a lot of people know us because they drive down by Lincoln Memorial and they see our really gorgeous gardens and they wonder, can I come in here? And the answer is yes. The Villa is a decorative arts museum. We have the largest collection of Cyril Kolnicks. History buffs in Milwaukee will recognize Kolnicks in the Pabst Mansion or the Charles Dallas Art Museum. And he was this master craftsman in ironwork. So the house was built in 1924. The gardens and the house are really this true celebration of Italy built in Prohibition era America. Hi, I'm Nick Hines. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of the Dog at Bradford Beach. We wanted to create a, an environment that's basically a vacation at home. You literally have a whole beach bar vibe. You know, it's, it's basically like you're going down to South Beach or whatnot, where you've got the different tiki huts, you've got the volleyball courts, you've got ice cold beers, frosty uh, frozen drinks, and some good food for, every, for the whole family. Coming up on Thursday, we're going to take you inside one of the newer offerings here on Milwaukee's lakefront, the Roundhouse Beer Garden at McKinley Marina. It's a hidden gem for now, but it won't be for long. For CBS 58 Hometowns on Milwaukee's lakefront, I'm Natalie Shepard. Our featured spot on our 58 Hometowns map this week is Milwaukee's lakefront, where people, of course, come by the car loads to work, work out, play, relax and enjoy the views. That's right. Yeah. Uh, look to the east. You see the beautiful blue water to the west. It's Milwaukee skyline. Sounds like the perfect place for a beer garden, right? <laughs> well, I found a good one. This week, we're making a stop at the Roundhouse Beer Garden at McKinley Marina, one of the newer offerings down here on the lakefront. I am joined by venue manager Anna Bartolotta. And uh, I think right now this is a bit of a hidden gem, but not for long. Yes. How long have you guys been open and what's the concept? Yeah, certainly. So this is our second year in operation. Uh, we are a beer garden um, and we have lots of different offerings for you. Uh, beers on tap as well as sandwiches. Of course, the uh, Milwaukee Pretzel Company, Bavarian Beast. Yeah, um, we have some beautiful food here. Yes, certainly the star of the show. Um, we try to support local as much as we can here. So we have the Milwaukee Pretzel Company Pretzel. We have Johnsonville on deck. Um, we're utilizing Clock Shadow Creamery cheese curds, um, Pete's Pops over there. So uh, can't go wrong. All great compliments to uh, local brew. Yeah, so you guys are right here at McKinley Marina, mm -hmm. a great place for people walking on the lakefront, the boats out here in the marina. Yeah. Um, why did you guys decide to open a beer garden right here? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, being an amenity to the city of Milwaukee um, is something that we feel very strongly about. Um, you know, yeah, beautiful day, nice beer. Uh, we want people to be able to get the most out of the lakefront, the most as possible. Um, so, you know, that beer, the lake, the nice weather. We have music on Sundays for folks. So just anything we can do to help uh, people enjoy the great city of Milwaukee. And when can people stop by? Yeah, so we are open uh, Wednesday uh, through Sunday um, at 11 o'clock. Uh, and then we close around 8 o'clock. Okay, fantastic. And yeah. so, you know, why do you think the lakefront is such a beautiful amenity for the city of Milwaukee? I mean, this is a kind of an unusual for a big city to have this. Yes, yes. Um, you know, I love uh, the parks down here. Um, they're fantastic. Uh, I've learned so much about the history of the parks and the marina um, th from the marina manager, Eric. Um, he's a wealth of knowledge. 
Uh, so uh, I think we're super lucky to be able to have this close access. I mean, I think the camera is pointing in the wrong direction here because <laughs> that's the true star of the show over there. Um, just a beautiful lake. You know, sometimes you know you close your eyes and I, I pretend it's kind of like an ocean, um, but it, it just look like that. Yes, yes, it's it's gorgeous. So. Um, what a better way, uh, there isn't a better way to compliment that view than with a nice cold beer and, and a brat, right? In true Milwaukee fashion. I was going to say, a Wisconsin tradition. Yes. All right. Anna Bartolotta, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, come check out Roundhouse Beer Garden at McKinley Marina.